What's good, y'all? Welcome back to another video. I'm your host, White Boy Rick, and in today's video, we're going to be speaking about a woman who's facing life in prison after a drug deal gone wrong and her customer ended up overdosing and dying off of fentanyl. Let's jump into it. Tampa, Florida. A Tampa woman faces a possible life sentence for selling drugs that led to a man's fatal overdose. Joel Mary Rosario, 30, pled guilty Tuesday in a Tampa federal court to knowingly and intentionally distributing a substance containing a mixture of heroin, acetyl fentanyl, and fentanyl to an individual who died as a result of using the substance. A sentencing date wasn't immediately scheduled. Rosario and her supplier delivered 10 plastic bags of the drug mixture to the man's Tampa Bay area hotel in November 2018. The man used one bag of the mixture that night and died of an overdose. A friend found the man's body the next morning and called 911. Law enforcement officers reported finding the unused bags of drugs in the man's hotel room along with his cell phones. Investigators found drug-related text messages and then posed as the man to order more of the same drug. Rosario was arrested a few hours later after arriving at the hotel with several bags of the drug mixture. All right, y'all, let's jump right into it. So, if you guys have been following for a minute, you know I've already covered stories similar to this before, where a drug dealer is facing whatever amount of time in prison because the drug deal or something along the lines went wrong, right? And when I've spoken about that before, I've said the same thing I'm going to say now, which is, look, I don't condone drug dealing, I don't con condone crime or anything like that, so don't get it misconstrued. But one thing I can understand is doing what you gotta do. Now, as you've seen, the article was short, so I didn't mention if this lady had kids or anything like that. But I'm gonna give her the benefit of the doubt and say maybe she had some kids and maybe, just maybe, she was selling drugs to try and, you know, support her family. Maybe to pay the bills, maybe to put some food on the table. I don't know, none of us know, right? But I'm just gonna go out on a limb and say maybe she was selling drugs to support her family, right? And so I can understand doing what you gotta do. You know, it's it's the same thing as, as Robin Hood. You feel me? Like, stealing from the rich to feed the poor. You know what I mean? So it's, it's the same concept as far as you gotta handle business, you gotta do what you gotta do. Again, I don't know if she had kids, I'm just saying, I can understand that aspect of it, but that's pretty much it. Again, I'm not condoning drug dealing or nothing like that, especially when it's fentanyl. That's something, I don't fuck with, I can't fuck with, and I always try to tell people, stay away from it. It is deadly. It is so deadly. So, I always try and tell people, you know, stay away from the drugs and, and stay away from all that shit. But if you end up in a position where you gotta do what you gotta do, I can understand. But this case is a little weird just because she sold dude 10 bags of fentanyl heroin mix. Like, that's a lot of heroin fentanyl mixture. That's a lot. So, she sold him the 10 bags. He took the first bag that night and died. Next morning, they call the police. And it doesn't say the timeline of when the police contacted the drug dealer. But that's one thing I wanted to point out too. Is like, if you're dealing drugs, you have to know your customers as far as you know you just sold him 10 bags a day or a couple days ago. If he's not reselling that, he's just a user, which obviously the man who died was just a user. So you gotta think, you sell him 10 bags a day, two, three days ago, and he needs more already? His phone, not him, but his phone is contacting you, telling you he needs more. He needs a bunch more. I mean, that should be a red flag right there. As a drug dealer, you gotta be aware and you gotta understand your customers and you should've known, she should've known. Ain't no way he went through all them 10 bags. Not saying that she shouldn't have responded because she ended up getting caught, you know what I mean? And maybe she should be off the streets. But my point is, if you're gonna do shit like that, you gotta be smart. 
you got to be tapped into the game you feel me like you got to understand all aspects of that game so the police contacted her through text you know maybe she should have called to hear the voice just to confirm oh well you bought 10 a day or two ago let me confirm it's you and I'm not getting set up right because that happens all the time drug dealers get set up whether it's by the police or by jack boy so I kind of find it weird and just kind of stupid on her part as to not even think why is he buying more so quickly he's not normally buying 10 every day or every other day 10 would have lasted him longer than that so red flag as far as her she should have noticed that but also I mean you just like I say all the time you have to understand the consequences of your decisions and you have to look at all possible outcomes you know what I mean so I can't support her selling fentanyl selling fentanyl is something way different than selling like weed or something that's not deadly you feel me so I just I can't condone selling fentanyl because look at what happens people are overdosing all over the place all the time every day people are dying from fentanyl so the fact that she sold him a batch he died and then she went to sell him more she didn't know he was dead but i mean she was just trying to get her money she didn't care about the health or well-being of anyone else except maybe she had a family and she's trying to pay the bills but she doesn't care about the users and that's that's part of the issue you know what i mean like Again, I understand you got to do what you got to do. You got to pay the bills and whatnot. But you can't, I cannot condone selling stuff that is out there killing people. You know what I mean? Like, there's plenty of jobs. There's plenty of ways to make money legitimately that I just can't support selling a deadly drug as your, as your career. You know what I mean? And I'm not just trying to sit here and talk shit. But she obviously wasn't the smartest. You know, she wasn't the brightest. Because, again, she got set up by the cops two, three days after she sold him the drugs and he died. She's out here selling mixed, different mixtures of heroin and fentanyl, deadly shit. And now she's facing life in prison. And honestly, I bet you if, if you were to ask her, did she think something like this would happen? No. She's probably completely caught off guard because she's not thinking. She's not playing out every outcome that could happen. Oh, well, if I do this, then this, 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 or this could happen. And if this happens, this, 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 or this could happen. I know it's repetitive. I know sometimes it's burnt out and you don't want to sit there and play every single outcome because what are the odds of some of this stuff happening? But when you're doing shit like that, you have to because honestly, she probably thought to herself, shit, if I get caught up, that's five, maybe 10 years. A little distribution charge, you know, 10, maybe even 20, who knows? But she was probably thinking she would have never gotten life for drug dealing. And she didn't get life for drug dealing. She got life, or she's facing life for dealing drugs that killed someone. That's the whole thing. It's the death of another man that got her facing life. So that's just really why I wanted to talk about it. You know what I mean? Like, again, I understand if you got to pay your bills, you got to feed your kids. I understand all that. But there's plenty of other ways to do it. And if you are going to make stupid decisions, try not to have your stupid decisions affect other people. You know, have some amount of care or concern for the people around you. And if you do decide to do crime, don't be no fucking dummy. Be on your P's and Q's. Be smarter than this lady. Again, I'm not condoning crime or nothing like that, but I understand it's inevitable. People are going to do it. So all I have to say is if you're doing it, don't be no fucking dummy. And if you're not doing it, you know, it, you, you may have to work a little harder to get to the next level to level up in life but we could all do it you just gotta you know put your nose down and grind so again don't be no dummy 
Don't even get into all the crime and bullshit. Definitely don't get into the drugs, the hardcore drugs, the fentanyl, the heroin, shit like that. And just, you know, as I always say, weigh out your options, weigh out your decisions, look at all the possible outcomes, and always try to make the smartest, most wise decision that'll put you in the best position to win, but won't tear other people down in the process. But hey, I appreciate y'all for rocking with me. If you like this video, make sure you hit the like and subscribe button. Make sure you turn the notification bell on so you can see it first. If you want to support the channel, make sure you click the links in the description below. Also, make sure you share the video to everybody you know so we can keep growing. But as always, it's white boy Rick. Till next time.